The cosmos, a vast expanse of galaxies, stars, and other celestial phenomena, has been a source of fascination and intrigue for both scientists and the general public for centuries. We've developed theories, established laws, and yet the universe continues to be a realm of mystery and wonder. But what if our understanding of the universe is fundamentally flawed? What if we are not merely floating in the cosmic expanse, but are instead residing within the confines of a black hole. This is the radical proposition put forth by the renowned physicist Brian Greene, a proposition that challenges our fundamental understanding of the universe and its workings. Brian Greene, a distinguished theoretical physicist and string theorist, has made significant contributions to the field of physics. His work on mirror symmetry, a concept within superstring theory, has revolutionized our understanding of the universe by revealing unexpected relationships between seemingly different mathematical descriptions of the cosmos. Green's hypothesis proposing that our universe exists within a black hole is a thought-provoking concept that challenges the established theories of modern physics. The idea of our universe existing inside a black hole is not entirely new. Over the years, several theories have emerged proposing how our universe could be connected to or originated from black holes. Some physicists suggest that every black hole could potentially give rise to a new universe, acting as cosmic gateways leading to the birth of new universes inside them. Others propose that our observable universe is inside inside a black hole which itself exists as part of a larger parent universe or multiverse. In this viewpoint, black holes serve as gateways to other regions or dimensions of space-time, encompassing multiple universes or realities. The singularity, the infinitely dense core of a black hole, is also seen as a potential source for the birth of new universes. Some experts suggest that the singularity within each black hole could have given rise to our own universe. This idea draws parallels between the initial state of our universe, commonly referred to as a singularity, and the concept of black hole singularities. Another fascinating theory proposes that our universe originated from a black hole that resides within another universe. According to this theory, when a black hole forms through the collapse of a dying star, a parallel universe is simultaneously born through a white hole located on the other side of a hypothetical wormhole. However, Green's hypothesis goes a step further, suggesting that our universe is trapped within the event horizon of a four-dimensional black hole. This would mean that we can't even tell that we're inside a black hole no matter how hard we try. This theory goes against everything we know about the way our universe works, things that we've already studied and proven through modern physics. Modern physics encompasses a range of theories that aim to explain the fundamental nature of the universe, from its largest structures to its smallest constituents. These theories have been developed through rigorous scientific investigations and have provided remarkable insights into the workings of the cosmos. At the heart of modern physics lies the framework of quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of particles at the subatomic level. Quantum mechanics has been expanded experimentally confirmed and is being explored for applications in quantum communication and computation. The success of quantum mechanics lies in its ability to accurately predict and explain a vast array of phenomena in the microscopic realm. It provides a consistent framework that can describe the behavior of electrons in atoms, the emission and absorption of photons, and the interaction of particles in particle accelerators. This understanding has led to the development of various technologies such as transistors, lasers, and nuclear power which rely on the principles of quantum mechanics. In addition to quantum mechanics, general relativity which describes gravity as the curvature of space-time 
time caused by matter and energy provides a mathematical framework to understand the behavior of massive objects. This includes everything from planets and stars to galaxies. The theory successfully explains a range of phenomena, including the precession of Mercury's orbit, the gravitational lensing of light, and the expansion of the universe. However, general relativity breaks down in extreme conditions such as at the center of black holes or during the early moments of the Big Bang, calling for a more complete theory of gravity. The standard model of particle physics takes things one step further. This is a highly successful theory that provides a comprehensive framework for understanding the fundamental particles and forces that make up the universe. It encompasses three of the four fundamental forces, the electromagnetic force, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force. Each of these plays a major part in the way our universe works. The electromagnetic force is responsible for interactions between charged particles such as electrons and protons. The weak nuclear force is involved in processes such as radioactive decay and certain types of nuclear reactions. The strong nuclear force is responsible for holding atomic nuclei together. It's responsible for the interactions between quarks, the fundamental particles that make up protons and neutrons through the exchange of gluons. Despite its successes, the standard the standard model still has its limitations. One significant limitation is its inability to account for the presence of dark matter and dark energy, which are believed to constitute a significant portion of the universe. Dark matter, a form of matter that does not interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation, is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter. Dark energy, on the other hand, is postulated to explain the observed accelerating expansion of the universe. Understanding the nature of dark matter and dark energy remains an active area of research in the world of science. Another challenge is the problem of trying to unify the gravitational force with the other fundamental forces. The standard model doesn't include a description of gravity, which is instead described by general relativity, a separate theory. This is where Green's hypothesis comes into play. His expertise lies in exploring the fundamental nature of the universe, seeking a unified theory that encompasses all the forces and particles within a single framework. Green's hypothesis suggests that if our universe were inside a black hole, the gravitational forces acting within it would be responsible for the expansion and structure we are able to observe. In this scenario, the universe's expansion could be attributed to the gravitational force exerted by matter falling into the black hole from outside regions. The gravitational collapse of matter could also account for the formation of galaxies, stars, and other celestial structures. This hypothesis opens up intriguing possibilities for combining some of the persistent puzzles in modern physics. One of them is the inherent incompatibility between general relativity and quantum mechanics. While general relativity successfully describes the behavior of gravity on a cosmic scale, quantum mechanics governs the behavior of particles at the subatomic level. Merging these two theories into a single framework, often referred to as a theory of quantum gravity, has been a long-standing challenge. By positing that we are inside a black hole, Green suggests that this scenario could provide a natural framework for unifying general relativity and quantum mechanics. The extreme conditions inside a black hole, where the gravitational forces are extraordinarily strong, may give rise to a particularly unique unique environment where the laws of physics are fundamentally different. Additionally, the concept of being inside a black hole could shed light on the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. These mysterious components make up the majority of the matter and energy in the universe, yet their nature and properties remain elusive. The hypothesis of being inside a black hole could offer a potential explanation for the existence of dark matter and dark energy 
as their effects on the cosmic scale could be attributed to the properties and behavior of the black hole itself. If Green's theory is confirmed, it would revolutionize our current cosmological models and necessitate a complete re-evaluation of fundamental physical laws. While direct observational evidence to support or refute this hypothesis is challenging to obtain, there are potential avenues for testing its validity. One possibility is to search for observational signatures that could differentiate between a universe inside a black hole and a universe that follows the traditional cosmological paradigm. For instance, specific patterns in the cosmic microwave background radiation, the relic radiation from the early universe, might provide hints about the nature of our universe's environment. Another approach could involve studying the behavior of particles in detail at extremely high energies, such as those produced in particle accelerators. The behavior of particles near the extreme gravitational forces within a black hole could exhibit distinctive features that deviate from our current understanding of particle physics. Theoretical investigations utilizing advanced mathematical models models and simulations would have to be conducted to explore the consequences of being inside a black hole. These simulations could provide insights into the expected observational signatures, gravitational dynamics, and physical laws that would manifest within such an environment. Comparing these predictions with observational data from cosmological surveys or astrophysical experiments could help confirm if Green's hypothesis holds water. However, Green's hypothesis proposing that we are inside a black hole is not without its critics. Some physicists and cosmologists offer different perspectives that challenge Green's hypothesis entirely. One alternative viewpoint stems from the idea of the multiverse. The concept of the multiverse proposes that our universe is not the only existing universe, but is part of a vast ensemble of universes collectively referred to as the multiverse. Each universe within the multiverse may possess its own unique set of physical laws, constants, and properties. This idea emerges from various branches of theoretical physics, including quantum mechanics, string theory, and inflationary cosmology. Those who support the multiverse theory argue that the diverse range of physical laws and constants observed in our universe could be explained by the existence of multiple universes, each with its its own distinct properties. These different universes, or pocket universes, can have variations in fundamental parameters such as the strength of gravity, the values of fundamental forces, the masses of particles, or even the number of dimensions. In this framework, the properties of our universe are not special or unique, but simply one possible configuration among a multitude of possibilities. Another fascinating idea is the brain world hypothesis, which suggests that our universe is a four-dimensional brain embedded within a higher dimensional space-time known as the bulk. According to this theory, black holes can form in both our universe, which would be the brain, and the bulk. While we exist within a black hole on the brain, we could still observe and study other black holes that exist within the bulk dimensions. Some theories propose that the phenomenon of quantum entanglement could play a role in our ability to exist inside a black hole and yet study other black holes. Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon where two or more particles become connected in such a way that the state of one particle is instantaneously correlated with the state of another, regardless of the distance between them. The suggestion is that the entanglement between particles within a black hole and particles outside of it could extend across the event horizon, allowing us to indirectly study and gather information about other black holes. As we continue to probe the depths of the cosmos, we are constantly reminded of the vastness and complexity of the universe. Theories like Green's, which challenge our fundamental understanding of the universe, serve as a testament to the boundless possibilities that the cosmos holds. They push us to question, to explore, and to seek answers to the mysteries that the universe presents. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. See you next time!